So today we will be testing the new Ultra Compass that you can get from Fossil Island. It is tradable and you can also just like make it yourself of course, where, where else would it come from? So in this Camelot patch I'm going to put Ultra Compost in there, along with a Snapdragon Seed. And then I forgot my Ardy Key and at the Ardy Farm we've got Super Compost, we'll plonk the Super Compost in there and then a Snapdragon Seed again. Now for a real comparison you would need to do like a lot of herb patches because it could just be RNG that I get like seven herbs from the ultra and then eight herbs from this one it's just rng so we'll come back in 70 minutes or whatever it is uh to check how many we get so that's all while we're waiting i'll explain how do you make super compost if you're a uh, an iron man so first you can load up a compost bin um so for whatever reason this compost bin doesn't work but we'll go to a different one that's fine so we're at the camelot compost bin instead whatever so we plant our water like, put our watermelons into the compost bin so now that this is full you can close it and let it degrade down into super compost as you know, like stuff like watermelon and pineapples make super compost. And once that is turned into super compost and you can open the bin again, you can then put 25 volcanic ash into it, which turns it all into ultra compost. Volcanic ash is also tradable. And there is an alternate method, but that is the best way to make it since you use 25 volcanic ash to make 15 um, ultra composts. The alternate way is what I'm going to show you right here. So this is where you get volcanic ash for you iron men out there. You just mine the ash piles and I think like I might be wrong. But I don't have access to the um, the mine to the northeast here yet. Um, but I think you get volcanic ash from the mine, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, the alternate method, you could add two volcanic ash to a super compost and it makes ultra compost. So now the super compost bin is finished, let's open it up. And if we dump 25 volcanic ash into the compost bin. Oh boy, that's going to take a while. There we go, 25 volcanic ash dumped into the bin and now if we grab some buckets let me go grab some buckets so i brought 16 buckets just to prove that you get 15 uh, no different you get 15 buckets of uh ultra compost this bucket of ultra compost i already had from when i used the two volcanic ash on it so it should be empty once it fills up this one and it's empty so if you do the maths you can use uh, two volcanic ash on one super compost to get one um, ultra compost or you can use 25 volcanic ash to get 15 if you use it on a compost bin. Obviously, the better uh, the better thing to do is use uh, the vol 25 volcanic ash on a um, a compost bin full of super compost. So now you're thinking, what does ultra compost even do? Well, I used ultra compost on this. So what ultra compost does is you're guaranteed to get at least one extra herb from your harvest. And if you use it on um, these allotments or any other allotment or farming patch, you're guaranteed to get one extra of the harvest. So how many, dude, look, I got 8, 12, 13 snapdragons. So if I use super compost, I would have only got 12 um, if I had the same RNG. Now let's go to the Ardy farm. I'm just uh, just showing this just cause, because um, I put super compost in this pouch just to show a difference. But again, RNG might uh, say that I get more from uh, from this patch because RNG. And yes, I'm wearing magic executors, which give you extra extra herbs as well. So from this patch, I got 10. So if that had ultra compost in it, I would have got 11 rather than 10, assuming the same RNG, of course. And along with giving you one extra herb per harvest or one extra herb per patch, it also lowers the chance of your crops getting diseased while they're growing. So lower the chance of them dying since you can't pay to protect your herb patch. And this chance, if you treat a patch with ultra compost, your patch has a 1 in 10 chance of getting diseased. And again, you can cure that if you're paying attention, but usually with herb rounds, you don't really pay attention to the patches. So yeah, ultra compost reduces the risk of your plants getting diseased to 1 in 10. But now you're thinking, bruh, are these ultra composts even worth using? Well, this ultra compost got me one extra herb. Now as you can see right there, ultra compost is at, at the moment is selling for 2.5k. If you price check a snapdragon, they're 9k. So it's very much worth using for herbs. For um, other like allotments, it's probably not worth using. Unless you're going for XP, of course. But yeah, so that I spent 2.5k to get another 10k herb or 9.8k herb. So uh, yeah, that was worth it for me. So definitely, if you do your herb runs, especially if you're on main, buy some uh, buy some ultra compost and uh, and start using it. And if you're an Iron Man, it took me like what? It took me like five minutes to mine 25 volcanic ash, which gives you 15 ultra compost, which will give you um, what's that like two and a bit or three herb runs. So if that's worth it for you time wise, then there you go. Use some ultra compost, just make it. Now other than that, the J mods have um, like acknowledged and they're sort of discussing. If you didn't know what fertile soil does, what it does is. Um, it just treats the patch you use it on um, with the super compost effect. So it's like you use super compost on the patch. Now, due to ultra compost, this spell is sort of dead because, like, why would you use super compost when you can use ultra compost? So they're definitely going to look into um, like an upgrade for this spell. Um, whether it will be a new spell entirely or it will just be an upgrade to the spell, I don't know. I don't know when it's coming out. 
They, uh, they haven't said anything about that, but they have acknowledged it. Other than that, like one hour ago, Agent Wyvern's drop table got buffed, so they're currently like roughly the same as Skeletal Wyvern's, probably a little bit less GP per hour because you're uh, because they take a little bit longer to kill since they're at a higher level with higher defense and more HP. I will link a news post um, that they posted the hour ago when they buffed the Wyverns because um, they did a few other changes as well. But yeah, other than that, tell me uh, what things you want me to uh, to review on Fossil Island. Like right now, I'm trying to get enough fossils so that I can access the volcanic mine and then once I get that, I can test that extensively. Um, and also Wyverns, but I don't have a Wyvern task, nor do I have any Slayer points, so I'll have to farm some of those to get a Wyvern task. But yeah, tell me what you want to see in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.